Hi, I'm Marissa. I'm from Lincoln Northeast. And this is Youth in a Nation of War. As a child, I wanted to be a part of something bigger, a struggle that redefined our nation. But the more I learned, the more I found I don't want to be. And yet here we are, youth in a nation that closet its own skin, where skin is still an issue, but it isn't 1973. It's 2018, where it's more acceptable to be drenched in blood than it is covered in rainbows because war is apparently more important than love. Whatever happened to do what you want as long as it brings no harm. We are the ones whom we told we closed on our own. They panicked and asked if we were all alone. Carry pepper spray and park under the lights. If you see a car circling the parking lot, stay inside. They line us up like little toy soldiers because numbers are easier to read aloud than names. Names have value. Names mean a person, but numbers, they're just another statistic. And the words that follow it don't really mean anything. The snow outside used to be white, but the ground is so saturated in blood that it has seeped through. Everywhere we look is a reminder of our turbulent history, the one I wanted to be a part of, but now? Now I just want to go home. This world is full of horrors that long should have been resolved where we preach love to nations of hate, but ignore the hate that rises in our own backyard. The lights in the sky grow dimmer with every passing day, as if for every fallen innocent, a star goes out. If that is true, there soon will be none left. All the stars will be gone, even our own sun. We are killing ourselves, cracking our sternums and tearing out our hearts, pulling out the bloody mess that is left behind and burying it for the world to see. And even then, we do not blame ourselves. It is not our fault. It is never our fault. It is always somebody else's. Responsibility is a word we have erased from our language. We are youth in a nation that is at war with itself. No longer do we have to wish to be a part of something greater. Everywhere we look, we see its influence. The body count is higher than we ever imagined it could be. Injuries that range from self-inflicted to brutal assault, and we are caught in the middle of it. We are the ones that will someday decide the future, the youth that come from every corner of this country, rolling hills to shining seas. We rise up from those that tell us we are too young to speak, no matter how many times we are massacred in the place we should be safe, because we have a voice that won't be silenced. We are the ones that will someday define this nation brick by brick. We will rebuild what our predecessors destroyed. We will take the ash from their raving fires and create new life from what they made bare. I wanted to be a part of history. We wanted to be a part of history. And now, now we are.